Good evening and welcome to our service of Compline on this Saturday, March 20th. I'm David Lehman, Bishop of Caledonia, and I'm joined by the Dean. Hello. And we are on the traditional, ancestral, and unceded territory of the Shimshan people, for which we are most grateful. Our worship this evening is found in the Book of Common Prayer, beginning on page 722. We are on the eve of the fifth Sunday in Lent, and also the commemoration of Thomas Cramner, the famous Archbishop of Canterbury, uh, who steered the church into the Reformation. When I was consecrated a bishop, I was given this very uh, incredible gift of uh, sort of the pedigree of which I, where I fell in the line of succession of the bishop, the archbishop who consecrated me and who consecrated that archbishop and so on and so forth, all the way back to the early church. And I sat there thumbing through rather quickly to find out if I was in the line that contained Thomas Cramner. And I was. So, um, yes, it's, it's one of those cool bits of personal history. So, we will remember the good archbishop as we offer our prayers this evening. As we're in God's presence, and as we are coming to a time of prayer, let us be still and know that we are surrounded by God's grace, mercy, and love. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. We continue with Psalm 143, on the bottom of page 513. Psalm 143, page 513. We shall say the psalm responsibly by the whole verse. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and consider my desire. Hearken unto me for thy truth and righteousness' sake. And enter not into judgment with thy servant, for in thy sight shall no man living be justified. For the enemy hath persecuted my soul, he hath smitten my life down to the ground. He hath laid me in the darkness as the men that have been long dead. Therefore is my spirit vexed within me, and my heart within me is desolate. Yet do I remember the time past. I muse upon all thy works. Yea, I meditate upon the works of thy hands. I spread forth my hands unto thee. My soul gaspeth unto thee as a thirsty land. Hear me, O Lord, and that the, that soon for my spirit waxed, wax, waxeth faint. Hide not thy face from me, lest I be like unto them that go down into the pit. O let me hear thy loving kindness in the morning, for in thee is my trust. Show thou me the way that I should walk in, for I lift up my soul unto thee. Deliver me, O Lord, from mine enemies, for I flee unto thee to hide me. Teach me to do the thing that pleaseth thee, for thou art my God. Let thy loving spirit lead me forth into the land of righteousness. Quicken me, O Lord, for thy name's sake, and in thy righteousness bring my soul out of trouble. And of thy goodness cut off mine enemies, and destroy all them that vex my soul, for I am thy servant. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our reading this evening comes from the Gospel of John, beginning in the sixth chapter at the 51st verse. Jesus said, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I give for the life of the world is my flesh. The people disputed among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? So Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. 
Those who eat my flesh and drink my blood have eternal life, and I will raise them up on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Those who eat my flesh and drink my blood abide in me, and I in them. Just as the living Father sent me, and I live because of the Father, so whoever eats me will live because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven, not like that your ancestors ate and died, but the one who eats this bread will live forever. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our worship continues on page 723. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For thou hast redeemed me, O Lord, thou God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. We say together the, the Te Lucas Ante Terminum. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray, that with thy wanted favor thou wouldst be our guard and keeper now. From all ill dreams defend our eyes, from nightly fears and fantasize. Tread underfoot our ghostly foe, that no pollution we may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, thine only Son, who with the Holy Ghost and thee doth live and reign eternally. Amen. Keep us as the apple of an eye. Hide us under the shadow of thy wings. Preserve us, O Lord, waking, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. We say together the Nunc Dimittis. Lord, now let us all thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Preserve us, O Lord, waking, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. We say together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. In the language closest to your hearts, we pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. Blessed art thou, Lord God of our ancestors. To be praised and glorified above all forever. Let us bless the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Let us praise him and magnify him forever. Blessed art thou, O Lord, in the firmament of heaven. To be praised and glorified above all forever. The Almighty and Most Merciful Lord guard us and give us his blessing. Amen. Together we pray. We confess to God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, that we have sinned in thought, word, and prayer through our own grievous fault. Wherefore we pray God to have mercy upon us. Almighty God, have mercy upon us. Forgive us all our sins and deliver us from all evil. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness, and bring us to life everlasting. 
through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant unto you pardon and remission of all your sins, time for amendment of life, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Wilt thou not turn again and quicken us? That thy people may rejoice in thee. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us. And grant us thy salvation. Vouchsafe, O Lord, keep us this night without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. O Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come unto thee. And the collect for the eve of Thomas Cramner. O God, you endued endued your servant Thomas Cramner with zeal for the purity of your church and gave him singular ability in reforming the common prayer of your people. Grant us such courage in our witness to your grace that in our families, communities, and nation we may become the leaven of your justice and truth. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night, for the love of thy Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. O Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who at this evening hour didst rest in the sepulchre, and didst thereby sanctify the grave to be a better hope to thy people, make us so to abound in sorrow for our sins which were the cause of thy passion, that when our bodies lie in the dust, our souls may live with thee, who livest and reignest with the Father and the Holy Ghost, one God, world without end. Amen. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may repose upon thy eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. I invite your prayers and petitions this evening for the people and places that are upon your hearts. Inviting you to name them out loud or to share them in the comments box where we may all enter into prayer along with you. We pray this night for all who are suffering from the coronavirus, for the increasing numbers of cases across Canada, for the people that, the, that they represent that those numbers represent. Those who are in hospital, particularly in ICU beds, those recovering at home, those who have a complicated recovery, those anxiously awaiting test results and self-isolating, for all waiting for the vaccines, for all who journey with them, family and friends, and for those who minister God's healing and grace to them. We pray for all who suffer this night, for those who are anxiously awaiting diagnoses, for those waiting doctor's appointments, for those waiting, on, waiting for or recovering from surgeries, undergoing treatments, procedures, therapies, for all the medical personnel who have care for them. And we pray for all who are living in the rough, who are either homeless or, are not, or struggling to, to find housing. For all who, for all who suffer from mental health issues, from addictions, for those who work to care for them in shelters, soup kitchens, outreach projects, that they all may be kept safe and find what they need to get through, not just this next night, but the weeks, days, and months to come. And we pray for all who lead us, for those in the communities both the elected and the volunteers, for those who lead us provincially, for those who lead in the provinces and territories, praying particularly for the uh, medical officers, think of Dr. Henry and Dr. Tam, for those who lead us federally, 
and for all who lead the nations. We pray for the areas that are filled with strife at this time. Praying for places like Syria, Nigeria, Uganda, Kenya, Ethiopia, Afghanistan, Pakistan, Iran, Russia, the United States. We pray for places struggling with natural disasters and we think of the ongoing famine in Yemen and for all those places that are on your hearts and minds this night that God's peace may come upon all people and nations. As, as it is Saturday, we pray for our friends and our families that God will keep them safe Bring them joy in all that they do. Strengthen them in their health, in their courage, and give them extra compassion. We pray for those murdered and missing indigenous women and girls. For the names that are still being added to that list for the family and friends that are devastated, for a society that has been reminded of the systemic uh, racism that exists, and for our part in that, for the call for justice for these women, that those who are missing may be returned, released, freed, given what they need to heal and to come home to communities and families that love them and miss them. For those who are murdered, that their bodies may be returned to their families and communities, and that their souls may rest with the Lord. We pray for all communities that are affected by this crisis those on the highway of tears and across this country for the healing of the communities for the healing of the nation for the long work of reconciliation restoration repentance we pray for the family that they too may know your peace and know that they do that there is a place where they can live without fear without pain of loss and that your kingdom awaits all who trust and believe so we pray this night for all whom you've named and for those who are still on our hearts as we pray. Be mindful, Lord, of thy people gathered before thee. Care for the infants, guide the young, support the aged, encourage the faint-hearted, collect the scattered, and bring the wandering to thy fold. Travel with the voyagers, defend the widows, shield the orphans, deliver the captives, heal the sick. Succor all who are in tribulation, necessity, anxiety, or distress. Remember for good all those that love us and those that hate us, and those that have desired us and worthy as we are to pray for them. And those whom we have forgotten, do thou, O Lord, remember. For thou art the helper of the helpless, the saviour of the lost, the refuge of the wanderer, the healer of the sick. Thou who knowest each one's need and hast heard the prayers, grant unto each according to thy merciful loving kindness and thy eternal love. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And I invite your thanksgivings for this day, for those grace moments where you've seen the hand of God at work in your life and in the lives of those around you. This morning I had a very pleasant surprise as I got back to the house. I, I'm not sure who was more startled at first, the deer or myself, but we had a lovely conversation. Well, I spoke, they nibbled, and, um, and I think I've come to the understanding that planting anything might be a bad idea. 
Um, but it was a lovely chance to just sort of marvel at them and, and to be feeling like I live in a petting zoo at times. And I am thankful for Archbishop Lynn as she celebrates her birthday and for uh, this chance to gather tonight as and have our holy hug uh, and for a place that is warm and dry considering the storm that's raging outside right now. And with your thanksgivings, we pray. O most merciful Father, we humbly thank thee for all thy gifts so freely bestowed upon us for life and health and safety, for power to work and leisure to rest, for all that is beautiful in creation and in the lives of men, women, and children. We praise and magnify thy holy name. But above all, we thank thee for our spiritual mercies in Christ Jesus our Lord, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. Fill our hearts with all joy and peace and believing through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We continue on the bottom of page 727. We will lay us down in peace and take our rest. For it is thou, Lord, only that makest us dwell in safety. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, bless, preserve, and keep you this night, indeed, forevermore. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us for our holy hug, and may you have a most restful night. In the morning, we gather as a diocese for morning prayer at 10 a.m., and followed by a time of fellowship on Zoom. The links are on the uh, Diocesan Facebook page, but you can also find the worship service on our YouTube and Vimeo channels as well. Tomorrow evening at 9 p.m., God willing, I'll be back for another service of Compline. Until then, rest well. Nighty night. I'm a hoopla, as in.